Happy Saturday, everyone. I uh, got my coffee, everything else. My God, it's the month of March already. Oh my gosh. Um, we're a month away. Uh, less than two months away because the festival is at the end of April, which is the Hawaii Bachata Expo. Um, what, I what, what, what I want to talk to you about today is taxi dancers. Uh, any festival would, that would feature taxi dancing in their event. And in this case, with mine on the Hawaii Bachata Expo and San Francisco Bachata Festival, uh, we're just newly implementing it for Hawaii this year and for Hawaii this year for April and for San Francisco on July. Now, what the hell... <laughs> is taxi dancers what are taxi dancers what is taxi dancing anyway well take a listen make sure you watch this video fully because you just might like it all right so taxi dancers are basically professional or advanced dancers whether it's salsa or bachata or kizomba or zouk all right and at least at my festival, because there was a stigma, I didn't want to do this because I didn't believe in it before, because there was a stig stigma where, you know, uh, taxi dancers are just getting paid and, and they get hired and they don't, they don't want to dance with anyone else because they are hired by this certain person. Uh, and so there's that stigma. And then, of course, uh, some taxi dancers, because it's kind of like an escort type of thing, well... I'm redoing this, rebranding it, and making it to a point to remove that stigma and to remove that doubts. Taxi dancers are professional and or advanced dancers. Now, my rule is that for my festivals, let's just for say example, the Hawaii one, um, they get at least eight hours, eight to ten hours in that duration of three nights where they social dance. Now their job is to be able to dance with people that are not dancing or shy about dancing or beginner people, okay? They have certain hours where they have a window of opportunity to do, to do that. Whenever a taxi dancer sees somebody that is just sitting there and uh, want to dance, by all means she or he or they want to ask, this person to dance with them and it's up to the person to say yes or no or if you're a beginner by all means please dance with them because you're going to learn a lot nothing to be intimidated about uh, 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 that's the job of taxi dancers now the taxi dancers I look for are basically the ones who actually love social dancing already anyway whether they're professional or advanced dancers uh, not just they they just dance so social because, not because they're hard to do that, but because they do it naturally anyway. Those are the type of taxi dancers I want at my festivals. Now, in Hawaii, uh, Hawaii Bachata Expo, on April 28th, 30, 2830, that is, um, I hired a lot of uh, taxi dancers, and they're basically volunteers. They volunteer themselves like, hey, I want to be a taxi dancer. I want to dance with everyone. I was like, sure. You know, uh, there's only one, of course, the qualification is I want to see them social dance first if they're actually good in dancing because anyone can claim they're, oh, like, I'm a dance, you know. <laughs> so, well, let me see your video social dancing. Those are one of the qual qualifications. Number two, if they're from Hawaii, I can't hire them. They have to be outsiders. They have to be out of towners. So I know a few People that I know from Hawaii inquire whether they could be. I can't because, uh, and, and I will. I will do this in San Francisco as well. The, the San Francisco locals cannot be taxi dancers at San Francisco Bachata Festival. The reason I like this idea, guys. The reason I'm doing this idea is because the locals would want to go to a festival where there are a lot of taxi dancers that are out of towners that are already advanced or professional. They would want to go to that event and social dance with those people. If I give you social, if I give taxi dancers that are local, most of the locals will say, what's the difference? I might as well go to a weekly social dance in a nightclub where I dance with the same people. 
Does that make sense, guys? Yeah. So all of my taxi dancers are from out of town. If they're doing it in San Francisco, they're from out of town. If doing it, they're doing it in Hawaii, they're not locals. They're doing it out of town. And I tell you, a lot of people could vouch for this taxi dancer. So, guys, for more information about taxi dancing, I have not implemented it on the website of San Francisco yet. But we've already implemented it at the Hawaii Bachata Expo. So, www.bachataexpohawaii.com slash taxi dancers. Because at least you'll know their faces. It's right on the website. They're featured on the website, whether it's Kizamba, Suk, Salsa, or Bachata. Okay? So, I just want to let you guys know that. That beginners, there's nothing to worry about. Or shy dancers, there's nothing to worry about. Because in my experience, when I attend Salsa Congresses or Bachata Festivals, um, I just feel bad for people who are just sitting there and waiting for somebody, someone to ask them because they're not that confident or um, uh, because they feel like they're out of place. No, this is not so. I don't want that at festivals. I don't want that at Salsa Congress. That's one of the reasons I started Bachata Festival because I want it to be friendly. Here's one thing I can promise you at my festival. The vibe is different. The vibe is all about love. Everybody dances with each other. I don't hire teachers. I don't hire taxi dancers that does not want to dance with beginners or that does not want to dance with anyone. Because I remember when I was just beginner, I got rejected many times. You know, so I don't want that to happen to them and traumatize them and give up dancing that they actually love. So anyways, guys, that's that's pretty much what's going to happen at the Hawaii and at Hawaii and in San Francisco. Uh, by the way, buy your tickets. Uh, by the way, the, the tickets that are offered online for Hawaii closes April 24, 2023. Okay. And then that means the tickets are expensive at the door if you want to buy them. Yeah, they're offered at the door, but they're going to be expensive. Also, don't forget that the hotel cutoff for Alohilani Resort to get that discounted price ends March 27th, okay? It ends March 27th. After that, uh, the prices are going to be 350 or more, at least in the Waikiki area because that's a very expensive area. Also, the prices for San Francisco Bachata Festival, the full pass is going up. It's increasing in five days. So, look... Get it because it's the 15 year anniversary. It's gonna be it's gonna be great. Anyway, guys, <laughs> ciao. I have so much coffee this morning. <laughs>